What's up guys, welcome back to IT Security Labs. And today I'm going to complete a blue team room from TriAcme. It's called Investigating Windows. This is a Windows, it's supposed to be a Windows Forensics Challenge. It's part of the TriAcme path uh, called Cyber Defense. So if you sign into TriAcme, you can go here and you'll notice that uh, if you go to learn, you have learning paths. I'm going through the Cyber Defense path here. And this is my goal to make sure that we have a good understanding of what the blue team does, especially incident response and everything. I've done about 42%. And if you go all the way to the bottom here under uh, incident response and forensics, that's where the investigating windows room is going to be. So that's what I'm doing. Just trying to learn how to do investigations on windows and also just to identify malicious activity. So first, you need to launch the machine, make sure that the machine is started and it's working. And read description here, we're going to be investigating Windows, a Windows machine that has been previously compromised. What version and year of the Windows machine? So that is the first question. So I'm going to open PowerShell as, as I get in here. Windows PowerShell, I like ISE. I run it as administrator. That's what I'm going to be using for the first parts here. You can just type sys info, system info, info. All right, so from system info here, we can see all the versions. In this case, we're just trying to understand what is the OS version. It's This is the build number and it's a Windows Server 2016 data center. 2016. All right, so now we know which user logged in last. We have the screen. That user should give us the information. Okay, so here are all the users that we have on the system, we need the last logged in user. Okay, so net user shows us all the users. So I can say net user administrator. I just signed in as administrator. So it do say, hey, in this case, last logged, last logged on was this time here. We can check to see when the other users last logged in. Then of course, we can look up net user Jenny. Jenny last logged in, never. Then, of course, we can now, now do net user John. And John last logged in was 2019. So the last user to log in was me when I got in as administrator. All right. When did John last log in on the system? Or oh, we just did that. This was the last time John signed into the system. The one month, day, year, hour, minute. Do I need to put zeros here? Okay. What is the what IP does the system connect to when it first starts? Okay, so when you first sign in, there's a pop-up that shows up and it says connecting to some IP address, and it was this one. What two accounts had administrative privileges other than administrator user? The format, um, okay, so we have two accounts, two user accounts. Oh, there we go. This is the thing that I was talking about when you first sign in. Okay, so to find the users who are in the administrator group, we can say net local group administrators. As you can see, it will list all the administrators here. In this case, we have admin guest and Jenny. Okay, so the net local group works. What's the name of the scheduled task that, that is malicious? Okay, so for the scheduled task, we have a few options. We can just search for this uh, task scheduler from down here, or we can do it from the command line. But this time, let's go to uh, task scheduler. Okay, so if I look at task scheduler here, right, we see a few things. Game over. That's interesting. That's running as administrator. If you look here, we see that we have one that is running. Oh, this one. This is running from the temp, and it's looks like it's running a PowerShell script. So it's, it's called clean file system. When you run it, it pops up this. So it's called clean file system. All right. What file was the task trying to run daily? It's trying to run a file called nc.ps1. Okay, what port did this fi file listen on locally for? The port that it listens on is 1348. It's right there. All right, when did Jenny last log, log in? We did this last time, let's do it again. It's net user Jenny. We can even grab for like, like last log on, but this time it's never. Jenny not, never logged in. 
at what date did the compromise take place? Okay, so we need to figure out um, if there's any compromise that happened and when it happened. So let's do that. Okay, so how do we find out if there's any compromise? We can look at the uh, PowerShell task scheduler and see what it's doing. But also if we go to the file system here, you need to know what's normal, right? There is usually not a temp here. The temp folder for Windows is in Windows, not right here. So I see whenever that folder was created, that's when this actually happened. All these files were created on, on one day. And this is the PowerShell script that we were running. And that was created on 3 2 2019 4 p.m. Okay. At what time did Windows first assign special privileges to new logon? So to do that, it, Windows does log everything. So we can go to Event Viewer and just view the things. We, we, we are looking for new logins when that happens. And this should be in the Windows logs. These are the same logs that we sent to Splunk. So you can have this information in Splunk or uh, somewhere else. And it should be a security event because you assign new privileges. So now it's just a matter of figuring out, okay, when, which of these uh, assigned new privileges? All right, so looking at these events here, scrolling down, there's a special logon here. And if you look at this, especially this one, you will notice that special privileges assigned to new logon. There's probably a better way to search for this than uh, the way I did it by hand, but we can tell that it's on um, 3 2 2019 and that time over there. All right, so what tool was used to get Windows passwords? I think I think it's Mimikatz. So going back to the malicious folder that we found, we found a PowerShell script, but we also found um, this one, an executable. Let's run it. And see what it, what it does. Yeah, it's Mimikatz. It's just flashing and going away. And we'll be using Mimikatz in all my live streams here very soon. So you'll be seeing it as well. What was the attacker's external control, command and control server IP address? All right, let's check the Etsy host file here. Windows is not in Etsy host. It's C Windows System32 drivers. It's a very weird location for it to be in. Etsy host. So let's check this file here. Open with Notepad. Usually people would update this. I also see this IP address here. Oh, there's more. Here's our Mimikets launching again as per the schedule. But look at this. This is not Google.com. This is spoofing Google here to try to trick us. Uh, our intrusion detection system will probably hopefully catch this, but this is the IP address. That's the command and control. So the attacker here, every time the machine is looking for google.com, is pointing it to their machine, which is kind of interesting. What was the extension name for the show uploaded via the server's website? Okay, so we are running a website on this thing here. And there's a few places uh, in Windows. It could, it could be a XAMPP or IS server. And if it's a XAMPP, you will see it right here. But I see INET pub, so it looks like an IS server. And in WW, this is where people can upload. In this case, I see a test.jsp. So it's a JSP file that was up uploaded. JSP. I think I have to say dot in the beginning here. Okay, what was the last port the attacker opened? I need to go back here. Okay, so to check the ports that are open on this system, we can do it via the command line, or we can just go to the firewall. Search for firewall here. Here's our firewall, it's on. Inbound rules, allow outside uh, connection for development. That's kind of interesting. <laughs> so that's the last port. The port that you open last will be on top. And this one is 1337. And it's an any any. So it's 1337. That's the one that we open. Submit. Check the DN for DNS poisoning. What site was targeted? Uh, we found it already in Etsy host. 
system 32 drivers etc host we found out that etc host was poisoned and they changed google.com here right so we completed the room as you can see it's very easy um i've i worked as a system administrator for windows so i kind of know where to look for things but it's really good practice for investigating and doing some incident response in addition to all the traffic that i've been showing you on the network or being forwarded we can actually do investigations locally and i hope you learned something from this video if you really like this please like and subscribe we'll be setting up this lab here and using it all the time so please make sure to subscribe otherwise i'll see you next time